I'm 620 meteorologist Victoria Cavalieri and this week we're talking about the annular solar eclipse which is going to be taking place across portions of the United States. Let's start off first with what exactly is an annular solar eclipse and how is it different from that solar eclipse that we had just a few years ago. First off an annular solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes in between the sun and the earth. However this happens when the moon is at its farthest point from Earth in its orbit. As a result, it looks like a ring of fire for those who are in the path of annularity. So I'm gonna give you a visual representation of what some parts of the country will be able to see on Saturday if they're located in that path of annularity. Again, this is Saturday, October 14th. So they're gonna be looking up at the sun, of course, using their protective solar eclipse glasses, and then watch what happens. The moon is going to move in front of the sun. Now, during the point of maximum eclipse, or annularity, they're going to be able to see that the moon covers the sun, but there's that slight ring around it. For us here in East Tennessee, we're not in the path of annularity, but that doesn't mean that we won't be able to see any parts of this solar eclipse. This gives you an idea of kind of where that path of annularity is. You can see it doesn't include East Tennessee, Southeast Kentucky, but it does include places like San Antonio, Corpus Christi gets clipped there, and also near that Albuquerque area as well. So what are we gonna be able to see here locally? As we kind of expand the picture, we're gonna be able to see a partial solar eclipse here in East Tennessee and Southeast Kentucky. For us, we're gonna be able to see that the sun is obstructed between about 40% and 50%. So let's get into some specifics. When can you check this out? What should you be looking for? In East Tennessee, here in Southeast Kentucky, our partial eclipse is gonna begin during the morning hours Saturday. Specifically for Knoxville, the partial eclipse, or when you're gonna notice that the moon partially covers the sun, will take place at 11.43 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The maximum eclipse for us, or when we're gonna see the most obstruction of the sun, takes place at about 1 10 p.m. EDT in Knoxville. Then after that, we're gonna go through another phase of the partial solar eclipse. Because this is an annular solar eclipse where there is either that ring of fire around it for those in the path of annularity, or for us here in East Tennessee where we're not gonna reach that maximum eclipse totality point, you've gotta have on your solar eclipse safety classes the entire time. Now, now, if you miss some of these details, you want a little bit more of an in-depth explanation on what you can expect. I've written down all that you need to know on my Star Watch blog. That's posted every Friday on WATE.com.